Shalom, Yasharalo. All praise and glory goes to our power. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles, the great millstone, and citations to the elect men feeding the sheep of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. In sincerity and truth with this knowledge, this wisdom, and understanding that has been bestowed upon the prophets of the nation of Israel to give unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And let us do this. Let's get into this lesson, man. Because I'm in the singing mood today. I am in the singing mood today. And I ain't singing no, no damn Christian songs. We singing the real song. We're going to kick it off with the song of Moses. Because <laughs> you got to realize, man, when Jake was, the scriptures, when King David was singing them songs, man, writing them poetry, these were some hardcore lyrics. He was talking about murking his enemy. He was, talking, he was asking the Lord to destroy his enemies. He was asking for strength. He was asking for might, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. That's real music, not that bullshit you hear these niggas talking about right now, man. Not that bullshit, man. This weird-ass, homosexual, spirited-ass music vibration they got pushing out here. That ain't no real music, man. Let's read some. Let's read this. This is Revelation 15 and 1. It says, and I, saw another, and I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled the wrath of the Most High. And that's what's about to come. Them ones and plagues fully get released. Ain't going to be no flesh that deserve to be killed that's going to be saved. Man. Everybody that, that deserve to be put to death going to be put to death. Man, I'm talking to a family member. They tell me some shit about some old ass 90 year old lady who got killed by a group of motherfuckers. I said, so? Fuck that bitch, man. That's her problem, man. <laughs> we ain't thinking about no babies and no old motherfuckers, man. Hey, she lucky, man. The Lord, if she done did some wicked shit probably a long time ago, and the Lord just let her ass get old, and then it, that judgment came, man. Imagine the fear. That's the thing. These people, they don't fear Yahweh. They don't fear the strength, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. So what would the Lord got to do? He got to eradicate. He's going to eradicate. That's why it talks about plagues being released, the pestilence, the famine, the sword, and all these is we're going to bring in tribulation upon wicked. And it says, And I saw as it were a sea mingled, a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that, and th Shlaki, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High. And what's that? That's the brothers in the chariots looking down. Ah, Shlaki, looking down. At the destruction. That's what's going to be. We're going to be in the chariots and we're going to look down at the destruction and, and we're going to see these people being destroyed. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the Most High, and they sung the, in the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works. What, what, what did the Lord do? He fucking destroyed Babylon the Great. <clears throat> he sent back his Lord like he promised, man. I'm going to read this again. Let me go back. And it says. Let me start from the top. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled the wrath of the Most High, poured out without mixture. That's what the Lord going to do when he releases the plagues, man. Ooh, mm. fear. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. Ooh. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of the name that over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the most high. And they sang the song of Moses and the servants of God and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works. Yahweh, almighty power, just and true are thy ways, thou king of the saints. Who shall not, man, that's what we got to bring this out. Who shall not fear Yahweh? Who shall not fear the Yahweh? Why don't they fear the Lord? Because the Lord hasn't introduced himself to these people yet. He introducing, he's introducing it to the elect, and the elect are returning to back to the Lord. Why? Because of fear. That is the beginning of knowledge, to fear the Lord. It says, who shall not fear Yahweh? Who shall not fear the Yahweh? And glorify thy name, for thou only art the are holy because the Lord is separate and you can't put no other gods with our power man just one power Yahweh for all nations shall come and worship before thee for thy judgments are made manifest wait a minute wait a minute hold on but don't other nations have their own gods so are the Chinese going to stop worshipping 
whoever they worship, that little fat motherfucker who just be sitting. Are the Arabs gonna stop worshiping worshiping Allah? Yes, when when that when the plagues get released, the fear of the Lord is gonna return back on the earth because they're gonna know it's good, the God of who's doing this, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's the God of the Israelites doing this. Just like when the Lord destroyed ancient Egypt. The, the people around the earth, who, who do they know who did it? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And it says, let me get this slot. This is the book of Exodus 15. Um, it says, then sang the saying of, then sang Moses and the children of Israel the song, this song, unto Yahweh, and spake, saying, I will sing unto Yahweh, for he have triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider have he thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, and he is become my salvation. He is my power, and I will prepare him in habitation. My father's power, and I will exalt him. Yahweh is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Yahweh is his name. And if Yahweh is a man of war, and we are the sons of the Most High, what are we? We're the children of, we're the children of a war, of a war God. So that makes us warriors. It says, Pharaoh's chariots 